Hey guys, this is Baskaberry. In this scenario, I'm going to show you how to send the first record to the first table and second record to the second table. Uh, we use the sequence generator transformations. In the previous scenario, I told how to use that sequence generator transformations and what are the difference between the uh, next value and curl value. And in this scenario, we are going to see how we can achieve this. Okay, let me start with the demo. Before that, let me show you the tables. Okay. Uh, this is a source table where I'm going to load a uh, first record into the screen generator and second record to the screen generator one I'm going to repeat that loop here. So uh, Let me start with the design. Uh, I have already imported the source table and the target tables here um, Let me create a mapping for this Once is then this is a uh, target table one and uh, target table two. I'm going to import this table also. Okay. Oh. Uh, how do we need to differentiate this? So before that, let me use a sequence generator transformation here. And after this, uh, this one will create a sequence generator. I need to root into different different tables so what I am going to use is I am going to uh, use a rotor transformation let me see this uh, okay let me use this rotor transformation to separate this based on that conditions so what I am going to do I am going to you drag this into this I'm going to use the first table. Second table. So what is the group condition I'm going to give? Okay, this is the one which you are given here. And uh, I need to change the properties into this uh, set start value as 0 and increment it by 1 and the current value is 1 and the end value because I need to loop through that only two tables. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give 2 so that the first uh, value will be ro loaded into the first table and second will be loaded into the second table. And again, once it third rows, it repeats the loop again. So to repeat that loop, I need to check this box as a cycle as 0 and the number of cases and reset. Uh, I don't want to reset because it the cycle repeats one to one to one to so I don't want to reset that. So let me click apply. Okay. Hmm. 
and in the target table first let me load this name We can automatically drag and drop, but uh, since I have only less number of columns, I'm going to manually arrange. Uh, so this is arranged all by name. Okay, once this is done, uh, can see this. Save this. What I did in this mapping is I just. Uh, imported the source table and applied the sequence generator and moreover this sequence generator is a passive one okay it doesn't change the rules and this I uh, have applied the rotor transformations to this uh, list so that if the value next value uh, sequence generator value is 1 load into the first table and if the sequence generator value is 2 load into the second table so let me create a mapping for this Mapping is created. Let me create a workflow actually. Go to the mapping tab. change the uh, connections instead of giving the each time this we can give a parametric file I'll let you know, know I'll come to the demo later on point okay apply and click OK let me run this and check in the monitor what it's happening Uh, this could be asked in interview questions also like uh, how do you load uh, first record into the first tables and second record into second table and third record into third table uh, the whatever the scenario may be in this type of loops you can use the sequence generator while using the value there okay let me see in the tables this is the source records where we had uh, one two three why does this miss I'm saying so you can look into this saying that uh, we did not get the expected results the berry is under okay fine but ready should be okay ready is also fine one not one mala is not at all present because it went to default uh, condition so what I need to go to I need to b bring that uh, into the first record itself okay let me check how I can do that mm, go to the um, designer tab click on this properties insert uh, instead of uh, start value as 0 give it as 1 okay okay and save this and even the workflow also you just uh, say this to validate before loading that uh, into this final table let me truncate these two tables so no records let me again run this succeeded 
so let me check with again the tables here and uh, now you can see that berry has been loaded into 100 and uh, ready has been loaded into second table and again mala has been loaded into first table and ragu to the second table so why the last time the records where did it go because last time only four records were seen in the sequence generator one second generator two the other record was there in the default group here if you see in this rotor transformation the default group has been having that and moreover why the default it went to default group because the properties which were stored the start value was zero so when the next time it would repeat that the start value is started from zero one two so the third uh, group has been missed so i have set the start value itself as one so now the we got the required results okay thank you for watching please do subscribe